Welcome back to Living in Wait. If you've set some ambitious goals for 2024, the odds aren't in your favor. There aren't in your favor. Surveys have only shown that 8% of Americans follow through and are successful in carrying out their New Year's resolutions. And Dr. Wee is going to join us today with some advice and some tips on maybe to up that number a little bit, yes? Oh, yes, Happy definitely. Happy New Year to you. Yes, yeah, same to you, And thank John. you so much for being here. Um, okay, so uh, why are New Year's resolutions so hard to follow through on and how can you make uh, how can we make long-standing good behavior stick all year long i think we're approaching it in in a um in the wrong way you know a lot of times we just focus on the outcomes and we want to lose 30 pounds and that's what we're aiming for but but then if we fail after a few days then then of course after one or two weeks we stop mm -hmm. so i think um the key is first identifying that new person you want to be. If you want to be a healthier person mm -hmm. and lose that 30 pounds, instead of just concentrating on just that goal, now you have to um, start thinking like a healthy person. You have to imagine yourself as that healthy person. You have to make choices and develop habits as a healthy person. Mm -hmm. So every day, what you're going to do is ask yourself, now, I have a choice between chips and a fruit. What would a healthy person choose? Mm. I'll choose the fruit. Even though we want the chips. Even though we want the chips, but in your mind you're saying, I'm, I'm a healthy person. So every day we make the right choice, yeah. it's a vote um, towards that new identity we've chosen. So it's the steps and processes, like a marathon runner. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's every step, right? You're, it's, it's every you're not, step. You're not just thinking about crossing the finish line, you're thinking about that next step. Right, and, uh, and so the starting line and that initial mm. momentum is the most important thing. And then the outcome will follow. But now you've, you've developed a new identity and so it's gonna have a long lasting change. Change has to start from within. Okay, you mentioned uh, a word, mm -hmm. and it's usually thought of as a really negative word, uh -huh. habit. Yeah. A habit. But that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad yeah. thing. But can you tell me about forming small habits and why it's so important? Right. So a habit is any behavior that you do over and over, and okay. it becomes autopilot. Right. Because our brain wants to conserve energy. So what we want to do is have that new identity and develop a good habit towards that goal. And so it's really important. So there's, you know, this is from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, if you do want to read more. But okay. he talks about number one, first noticing. So you have to make are, it. Are these, your, are these your laws, your four laws? Yes, these are the four the, laws okay, four of behavior laws. change. Okay, thank you. Okay. So number one, first you have to notice it, your, you know, in order to start to make a good habit. Notice and, it. Yeah, and you have to want it. It has to be attractive. Okay, so and notice then, it and want it. Right. And then you have to actually do it, and you have to make the step easy. Do and, it. Okay. Yes, and the last one is liking it, making it satisfying. Ooh. So let me let me do an example. That's a hard one. No, it's not. So let me number one. What I'm if to... what if you want to eat healthier? So say you're gonna put the fruits right there on your kitchen counter. Okay, so you notice it. You notice it, and then you want to make put fruits there that you like. Right. So so you, I, I want I want that apple. Mm -hmm. I like apples. Okay. And then you're gonna say, I, I'm just gonna, you know, I, I'm gonna eat it. It's it's easy to cut up, and so, you know, I'll just eat half an apple instead of a whole apple. Start okay. small. Okay. And then finally, when you eat it, it's really satisfying. It makes me feel good, and so you go back into that feedback loop. Okay. The next day, you see that apple on your kitchen counter, and you want to go for it again. Okay. I I can understand that. Yeah. Or even um, exercising. You know, I want to I want to be a a better exerciser. So you put your shoes right there in the front door. Okay. So that makes it obvious. You you buy a new workout outfit and you look great. You make it easy. You say I, I'm going to walk five minutes after dinner with my family. That's all, just five minutes. Okay. And then finally, you're going to say, Wow, that feels really great. Um, let's let's go and have family time together after our walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thinking positive, I like I like that you're, you know, I said, oh, that could be hard, liking it right. could be hard, because right now I'm sore from working out this morning. 
but that sore is a good thing. So you, you actually changed my mindset, and I think that's part of it, having a, having a positive mindset about the things that you need to do. Like right. you said, uh, you may be thinking about the finish line and how far away it is, but right. accomplishing each goal every step of the way is a good thing. Exactly, and you know, uh, a mountain climber, they're just looking at each step. Right. And they know that they're gonna get to the goal, but, but it's that process, that training that they've done to, to get to where they want to be. A lot of great analogies. I really, I like, yeah. I like this. this is but it's great. changing your internal talk because you have to tell yourself there has to be hope that change is possible. I like that, yeah. Otherwise, if you say, I'm just going to stop eating, I'm going to lose 20 pounds in two weeks. Yeah, no. Guess what's going to happen? You're, you're back to your old identity. Yes, absolutely. Been there, done that. Yeah. Uh, somebody wants to have a positive talk with you or, or get in touch with you, how do they go, ahead, go about doing that? Well, they can come to Walk With a Doc. I'm going to talk about this tomorrow. Oh, there you go, <laughs> Walk With a Doc. Well, we're, we're looking forward to that conversation. Then we'll have that. And uh, you see on the bottom of your screen how you can get in touch with Dr. Wee. We really appreciate you stopping by, and it's the, uh, my first opportunity to say Happy New Year. Thank you, John. So, thank you. Okay.